fingering, fingerings, fingering, fingering, fingerings. Unfortunately, completely underrated. Hello, people. <laughs> I'm Anik and I'm a classical pianist. Some of you might already know me from Instagram and if not, you're welcome to check out my Instagram page. I have started to do like tutorials about playing piano and especially I wanted to do tutorials about fingerings because I think fingering is something that is unfortunately completely underrated. I mean, fingerings are so important and these are like the basics of playing piano and if you understand how a good fingering works then this will like save so many hours of practicing and also many many wrong thoughts on stage. So, what is a good fingering? There are different parameters that will have an impact on your fingering, like physical and musical parameters. Physical parameters are like your piano as instrument, keys, mechanics, and so on. And your body as instrument, like the fingers, the hand, the arm, the elbow, very important, <laughs> the shoulders, and the rest of your body, actually. And then there are the like musical parameters like dynamics, harmony, melody, rhythm and a lot of other things like everything that is written in your notes or like in between <laughs> and uh, has musical energy. Um, yeah, I thought it would be good to start with the physical parameters, especially with the keys, because we have to understand how a key works, so we have most of control over the sound we're going to create. This means we need to know at which part of a key do I have to touch it. This has also a name, Rubinstein called it, the heart of the key. Well, if this is my key and I touch it here right at the end of the key, um, this is quite like the part where you can really have a lot of control over the sound and the more you play in the inner part of the key, the less control you'll have. Um, I mean, it's just physics. So if you keep your intention on playing in the heart of the key, then a lot of things are going to be easier and you realize that you have to change some fingerings so you can play in the heart of the key. Because I'm pretty sure that some of your fingerings do not allow you to play in the heart of the key right now. And this will let your fingers stuck in the keys so you can't really move them and you don't have that control that you actually want to have. So, um, before I talk too much, I'll just show you some examples so you'll understand what I mean. As I said before, you'll find the heart of the key like in the front part of your keys. There you'll have most of control over the sound and over the key. Well, what is written as a fingering in this? It was like, like here is three, four, three, four, two, five, or something like this. So if I'm using this fourth finger at that part, then you can see that my fourth finger is like is like too much in the inner part of of the key. Uh, additionally, my fourth finger is not the strongest one, so if you're using your fourth finger, then it should really be in the heart of the key because it's just too weak to play in the inner part and have all the control. I would say an easy fix for this part to play in the heart of the key would be like to not use your fourth finger, but the first finger, like... This would guarantee you to play in the heart of the key and it's like gives your elbow a lot of freedom so it is easier for you to stay relaxed at that part. So this was the video for today. It was my first video here on YouTube and if you like it please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions or ideas please put it in the comments down below. If you would like to see more videos like this then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell. See you in the next video! Bye!